What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to an absolutely insane episode on the road to glory. So much happens uh, in today's uh, episode, it's crazy. First things first, we sold some items. I managed to pick up Felipe Luis for 72,500 coins as you can see on the screen there. He actually went down to like 64, 63 and 62,000 throughout the day that I actually bought him. And then the next day, during the daytime, uh, there weren't many of him on the market. So I tried to sell him for a bit of a profit. And I'm just showing you on screen right now as well, guys, that swapping the players over and then swapping the fullbacks doesn't actually change the chemistry of Kono and Royce. Uh, the defense and the midfield are set up a specific way that it doesn't actually alter the attack at all. So for those of you that recommended into in the comment section that if I swap the two center backs around and the two center mids around, I can get better chemistry on Kono Plianka and Royce. I actually can't, um, which is... Uh, you know, a bit of a shame, but we'll, we'll do our best to upgrade this team a little bit more throughout the rest of the series, unless we can't. And if you guys follow me on Twitter, you will know that basically today of recording this video about an hour ago, my account got locked and banned. And uh, it was news to me. I tweeted about it and it turns out hundreds, if not thousands of people are experiencing the same problem. I think EA, when they did the maintenance last night, they tweaked something within the... Um, algorithm that tries to spot uh, irregular activities and my account got flagged for transferring coins now of course I've got video evidence of absolutely everything in this road to glory we can see clear as day I have transferred absolutely no coins however a lot of people said that at the time of them getting banned they were bulk selling items and it's really interesting because for me right now you'll see I think at the end of this video, or throughout this video, I was doing a lot of bronze pack method to try and get enough coins to buy Team of the Season Thiago Silver. And during that time, I had 97 items on the transfer list that I listed at once. So maybe with the new algorithm, it sees that as uh, irregular activity. So for the time being, the account is banned. I can't access it past what we've got here today. Uh, we're in Division 1 right now. We get ourselves... A 2-1 rage quit there. I don't know why the guy rage quit. It was Division 1. But look at this goal from Tony Crows. My God, what a strike. Top bins, no keeper saving that. Love it. Absolutely love it. So we get ourselves another three points in Division 1. We've got six games remaining to get the remaining 14 points from six games. It should be possible, but we've thrown it away several times before. So with that, me getting banned, I contacted my contact at EA. Actually, he messaged me and said, what's your gamer tag? I messaged him back asking like any any update on it and uh, he basically said they're investigating my account. Since then, some more information has broken the, the EA rep team now on, on chat support, which aren't necessarily reliable, but sometimes are more helpful than not, sometimes. Um, uh, basically, they have said that they know that there's an issue, they're trying to fix it and everyone that's been banned... Uh, unfairly, well, you know, they're, they're looking into it. They're going to reverse, basically, I hope, everything that they've done. Into the next game we go, guys. Now, this is a cup game with our um, our second team. You would have seen I made three changes to the second team. I bought that centre midfielder to give Castro uh, one uh, 10 cam. He cost me 450. I bought Marquisio for 1,700 coins. I bought Thomas Muller for 4,700 coins. I forgot to show them in the video, but those were the prices that I paid for those players. Just to give, like, not just that little bit of extra chem, but the midfield was really weak in that game that I played last time. So I just wanted to bolster the midfield up and make sure that we did good, uh, you know, basically got the best that we possibly could. And then with that... I had Disiglio as a untradeable left back and he fits the team perfectly. So Clichy was out, Disiglio was in and our team now is pretty damn good. So going back to the band thing, guys, like worst case scenario really is that they actually might come back and say that, you know, that we, we found fault in your account. And maybe these, maybe they've changed the way irregular activities are working and me listing 100 items at a time is irregular and against terms of service and it wouldn't be surprising to me due to the fact that you know right now you're not allowed to bin snipe you're not like bin sniping is a bannable offense which is crazy but in the terms of service it's it goes under as something that gives you an unfair advantage over other players which is something that they're trying to kind of get away from and I wonder if bronze pack method is that same entire thing like you know opening a load of bronze packs getting a hundred items on your tray pile and uh and basically put putting the you know listing all the items up at once that gives you an unfair advantage over other people in like worst case scenario this account is now banned forever and and I if that is the case I'll hopefully find out in the next day or two if that is the case 
um, that it, it was a good run and it was a really good run actually a really good series a really good end to it and uh, it, it would be worth it it would have been everything would have been worth it for sure best case scenario they turn around and say yo we fucked up um, we'll uh, we're unbanning your account now you're back in and we carry on no problem at all but we end up getting a win in that game right there guys 4-3 deserved the win my opponent had a really, really nice team and was just a bit of a dick with his celebrations, which is why I shushed him at the end there, because screw that guy, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we go back into Division 1 now uh, with our fully fit D1 team. You can see there I've got 93,000 coins that I just thought you just would have seen up in the top left. We come up against a pretty interesting team. He's called New Beginning, and his account was actually made this month. It was made August 2016, which means in one month's time, he's managed to climb up to at least Division 3 or Division 2, potentially even Division 1 um, in just a month and has that team. And that's a pretty good going, pretty decent team. Not, not amazing, not incredible, but good. You know, it's a good team, a cheap team, an effective team. And we're obviously, you know, we've already lost one game in Division 1 because of that. Uh, I used my fitness team in D1 because I thought I was better than I actually was. And we end up losing the game narrowly. And I went 2-0 down in this game and I was like, oh God, like, this is, this is bad. Like, I'm in trouble here. I need to get back into this game. Otherwise, with five games left, we would need to win all five of them. We got back in at 2-1, Pepe scoring a goal. And eventually we pulled it back to 2-2. Tony Kroos there plays into Aubameyang, the drag back. What a shot, what a goal. I'm telling you guys, this Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is just another level of good. But br just briefly as we carry on playing through this game, going back to the, the ban stuff, I, I don't expect my account to remain banned. You know, I, I know for a fact I've done nothing wrong on this account. I've got video evidence to provide to EA that everything is legitimate. You know, I've shown... Other than bronze pack method, where I cut that out of a lot of videos, I've shown absolutely everything on this team. And if if what they what they officially told me when I spoke to chat support was it was for coin transferring, which in my opinion is the bronze pack method stuff, because it's like what they'll see is they'll see me opening a whole bunch of bronze packs, selling a whole bunch of items, and that's that's all that's happening. I'm, I'm you know opening packs, selling bronze items, garnering coins, whether it be fitness cards, players for cheap. Players for expensive because every now and then you get a bronze player where there's none of them on the market, so they sell for five, six, seven hundred coins, or that sometimes they sell for two, three thousand coins, like the Akin Fen was and such. You know, there's such a variation in what actually happens as we pick up another three points in Division One. Um, but what if if I was transferring coins at, to the extent where they kind of are feeling like, okay, yeah, this this account is violating terms of service, you guys would have noticed. You would have been like. Oh, today's episode, he's got 7,000 coins in the bank and this team. And then the next episode, oh, look, he's got 190,000 coins and four blue cards out of note. Like, you would notice it. Like, you guys are, are, are hawks when it comes to picking up on my mistakes through the series and, and questioning absolutely everything everywhere. And the only one small thing that I know is on this account that could potentially be considered transferring coins or you know abusing an advantage is there was a time where i got a kit in a pack a silver kit in a bronze pack and the kit was extinct and it went for five thousand coins so i listed it up for five thousand coins and i tweeted and i didn't do it on purpose it was a genuine mistake but i tweeted um i can't believe this kit is extinct easy coins or something like that and then obviously somebody's seen that and they've actually gone and bought the kit so five thousand coins is about the extent of my i'm sorry i cheated kind of like mistakes but other than that one kit where you know you got and, and again you guys picked up on it straight away i had people in my comment section that video people are buying that kit because you tweeted about it people only bought that kit because it's you that kit wouldn't sell for 200 coins if, if i didn't tweet about it and you were probably right it probably wouldn't have sold it might have sold you never know you just never know but you it probably wouldn't have sold so if i was cheating if i was transferring coins you would see it because you see everything and you can tell but in fact if you look at my match coins and my transfer profit, that puts me to about 1.5 million, I think, last time I checked. If I sold everything, I'd only have about 600,000 coins. So I'm actually about 900,000 coins short of if I had kept every single coin. Like, you know, obviously we've lost a hell of a lot of coins buying and selling players. Like we bought Team of the Season, Dean Maria, for 327. We sold him for 295. We lost a tax on that. There's a discrepancy of 40,000 coins straight away that we've just lost, that we're never getting back. And we've done that so many times throughout the year that that's where the coins diminish, which is why I always explain to you guys, I don't really want to transfer, like buy and sell teams over and over 
for that specific reason. But we end up buying Thiago Silva, you would have seen there, guys. We picked him up for 92,500 coins. We put him in our team. This is the first team we came up against. My God, what a team that is. He's got the regular Pogba. He's got Aurier. He's got Inf uh, Informs Latan, 95 rated. And then he's got a team of the season, uh, uh, League One side with... I think he had Alexandra at left back. He did have team of the season, Alexandra at left back. He just scored. And we went 1-0 down in this game. And I was like, damn, like, this guy was a decent player. He's got an incredible team. And again, we can't really afford to slip up in this game. However, his defending was a little bit suspect. You see him there with uh, David Luiz trying to shield me when he's got no other defensive line. So it's really easy for me with Royce to just burn past him, get into the box, shoot, score, get ourselves back into this game. So 1-1 one, one in this game. We get the ball here with Luka Modric, pass that into Royce. Royce flips that to the back post. The header comes out, it falls to Pepe, who gets his second goal for the club in around six games. He's already proven to be fantastic for our team. What a signing for 80,000 coins. And he's actually now cheaper than 80k as well. Last time I looked, he was going for about 65,000 coins, which is nuts. Conor Plianka on 5 chem at right forward. Bangs that one into the back of the net to make it 3-1. What a finish. I hit it early because I thought the defender was going to catch me. And he pump faked the keeper a little bit, which actually gave me the space that I needed to shoot and score. And then Pierre-Emerick or Bamiyang. It doesn't matter if it's online, offline, cups, league, seasons, pros, amateurs. Doesn't matter. Or Bamiyang scores when a Bamiyang wants to score. He's just ridiculous with the ball at his feet. And you can see there, my opponent, he rage quit at 4-1. He had had an half. And it's a little, little bit... Little bit like unfair scoreline, like 4 1 wasn't really deserved. He, he created a few chances, he had a few shots with his lat hand where my keeper made like just deadly, deadly saves. But we end up picking up a 4 1 win. Pepe scoring, uh, uh, Obamiang scoring, um, Conor Plianka scoring. I think they were the goal scorers there. And uh, you can see there, he actually only had three shots, one on target. But that leaves us now, guys, with four games needing just eight points. So two wins, two draws. Three wins, job done. I can afford to lose. I can't afford to lose and draw. I can afford to draw. I can't afford to draw and lose. And into the next game, we come up against this opponent, Ponte Verda CF. He's got Bruno CDM. Other than that, he's got a nice team, but just really weird. Jackson Martinez, Diego Costa off chem. He's got Alexandro just out there at left back by himself. It's just a little bit of an interestingly weird team. And uh, it kind of made it easy for me to get grips with this team. And you can see him there sliding in like a madman straight away. It left spaces in behind. We get through with Luka Modric, who picks up his first goal for the club. And what a goal. Now, for me, team of the year, Luka Modric, is probably the best flat centre mid I've used this year. Team of the season, Luka Modric, is one stat point lower in all six categories, which basically means he's the second best centre midfielder I'm ever going to use this year. We end up going 2-0 up against this guy. We also get a penalty in the 60th minute here. I give it to Aubameyang because I'm try I am trying to force feed Aubameyang goals where possible. You know, penalties, not necessarily free kicks because Royce is just too good at free kicks. But penalties where possible, I'll give to Aubameyang. Cutbacks where possible, I'll give to Aubameyang. And then in the 90th minute, the ball falls here to Hatton Ben Arthur. Finesse shot to the far post. It hits Bruno in the butt and it uh, ricochets or deflects off into the goal to make it 4-0. So another three points in the bag. Three games remaining. Five points required. One win, two draws, two wins. Doesn't matter which way around we do it. It is now looking very probable and very, very possible. Another dominant performance in Division 1. To be fair, the reason why I actually played all of these games in one sitting because I was feeling good. The game felt good. The way I was playing felt good. And I felt like I was coming up against... Not necessarily weak opponents, but not. I don't. I didn't feel like any game. I was like against a really tough opponent. So I thought, whilst the 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 kind of flow seems to be in my favour, let me just keep banging out the games and banging out the games. Which is why today you've got a 20 minute long episode. Now I took our fitness team again into another game. This is now the semi final of the Gold Cup, and we come up against an absolute monster of a team. Inform Royce, inform Lewandowski, inform Muller, inform Lam, inform Hummels. Then he's got great players in Alaba, Boateng. And Vidal, Neuer, Gustavo and the Robben there up at right wing. And it's just a sensation. Like, honestly, just an amazing team. It's, it's one of those teams where it's like...
this is the sort of team that you could honestly go on and win season after season after season with. However, we got a lucky break in the box there. It falls to Muller. Muller plays it into Ruben Castro. Ruben Castro shoots and scores. And I go 1-0 to the good. However, my opponent did get back into the game. And th this is that Royce. He's just too quick. Like I, You just can't catch him. He's too quick. And then a nice little scoop over the keeper into the back of the net. It's a beautiful goal. It's a counter-attacking goal, which is kind of kind of like my biggest problem this year in FIFA is conceding from my own, my own attacking positions. Um, however, after going 2-1 down, we had a chance to get back into the game at 2 Well, sorry, after going 1-1, we had a chance to get it back to 2-1. Sané with a long shot. Keeper saves it. We put a ball into the box. It gets headed out to Thomas Muller. Muller picks it up, shoots and scores. And what a goal that was. And that's exactly why I took out like Sahin and put in Muller. Because Muller just offers a little something. Okay, yeah, it was 4,700 coins. But he's won me that game that's going to potentially go on and win me 2,000 coins. That pays for half of his uh, fee just off of the back of that potential one goal. So we get our fitness back for the final few games of Division 1. We're into the final of the Gold Cup. And our next Division's opponent has another incredible team. I'm seeing so many people with Team of the Season. Alexandra at left back is crazy. Pogba, Chiellini, Neymar, Inform Suarez, Bale, Yari Littmanen, Tony Kroos, Boateng, Neuer and Carver Howe Team of the Season at right back. And I thought this game, this game is going to be difficult. And I wasn't wrong. A great through ball from Modric all the way up to uh, Marco Royce there in the box. He gets in, triple taps that, cuts it across. Conor Priyanka is there instead of Aubameyang for a change. And after 20 minutes, we go 1-0 to the good. But into the second half, my opponent broke me down through the middle. Really, really poor defending. I pumped the keeper out a little bit. He slides that across to Neymar. Lovely goal, lovely finish. Can't take anything away from it. And although we drew that game 1-1, if I remember correctly, I feel like I had a better game than my opponent. I feel like I had more possession and uh, a few more chances. I had uh, literally uh, just a bit more possession and just a few more chances. But on 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 the gauge of the match, that actually looks like a draw was probably a fair result. Uh, I was just very like getting stressed now with two games left. I now need to win and draw. Like I ca I now can't lose. Like I've I've given up the chart the opportunity of being able to lose. Into our second to fight last game, we come up against a 4 1 2 1 2 team. It's actually a really, really nice team. Lacazette and Griezmann up front, Gignac in at Cam, Ribery, Bibiani. Like, it's just pace. It's just a lot of pace. But this was probably the easiest Division 1 win I have ever, ever had. Aubameyang there gets the ball, plays it into Conor Plianka. Conor Plianka waits for the run of Aubameyang to come back, steals the ball off the defender. Loris with the save, Conor with the rebound on his weak foot. Off Kem, still manages to pop it in the back of the net. Very happy with that. And then after 15 minutes, a lovely little passing move through the midfield. He finds Royce from Modric there. Royce cuts that across to Kono. Kono waits for the defender, drags it past him, shoots and scores. 2-0 after 15 minutes. And to my surprise, but to my amazing joy, my opponent decided to rage quit there. So 2-0, the easiest win of my life in divisions. I was so happy to pick up that win. 2-0, three points pressure off to a point we now need one point from our final game one point should be easy right i decided to risk it and not put fitness back on the team because that was an early rage quit so i was like let me go that last game come up against a guy with a really really nice team interesting lacazette up front if uh, you know he could have gone with a number of other players up there that would have probably done a better job with more chem um and into the second half after dominating this guy for the the first 60 minutes he breaks down and I tackle him perfectly in the box there. It falls back to Royce. He fake shots and my two defenders collide, giving him the space and he scores a goal. And we're 1-0 down with 25 minutes to go. We, we just need one goal. We need one chance. We need one opportunity. The ball falls to Tony Kroos down the right-hand side. A step over to the inside. He evades the challenge, hops in with the ball. He backs off waiting for a through ball because, hey, it's Tony Kroos. What's he going to do? That's what he's going to do. He's going to drain it from 30 yards out and win me the Division 1 title and genuinely rightfully so. I absolutely smashed this guy that we end up drawing in the last game with. I deserve to win the game. I never deserve to be behind. But the pressure didn't get to me. It took me until the 87th minute to equalise with Tony Kroos. And what a signing he's been. He scored some amazing and amazingly important goals. So we get the 15,449 coins. I don't care about the coins right now. I care about the fact that we've won the title. You can see there, I had a bit more possession, a few more chances. But in general flow of the game, I was, I was genuinely just controlling the game. I, I had the better of it and I deserved to win it. The most important thing for me is not the Division 1 title, is not the coins, it's the kit. 
because now we have got the full collection. Also, guys, that was our 600th win, or we have 600 wins on the account. The previous game was a 600th win because we drew that, but 600 wins to 163 losses. Of those 163 losses, 69 of them we gave ourselves through relegating down to Division 10 and a couple back on the way up of people that were trying to do it and not score own goals. So we would actually be around a 600 to about a 95 record if it wasn't for that. Of course, with that in mind, about 150 of those wins are offline. And there, guys, is the kit in the club along with all the other three unlockable kits. So Division 1 has been won. And what a time to get banned just after winning Division 1. Because then if it, if the band does stay forever, which I hope it doesn't, we've done everything anyway. This, you know, we could actually call this a win and a completed series. But this, guys, is going to be the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.